This is Secret World Wildlife Rescue and we've been uh, established in Somerset for 12 years looking after all British wildlife casualties. My name's Sarah and I'm the Animal Care Manager and the Veterinary Nurse. The role of my job here is really to care for all of the animals that come in, um, assessing all the patients, rearing all the babies with a team of eight staff that are all dedicated to getting them all back to the wild. Let's come and meet some of the animals. <laughs> Come in. Right, they are here somewhere. There's something moving under here. <laughs> Hello, little face. So if you see, this is the um, kitchen of Secret World where most of the babies come in to begin with. Uh, of which, um, this is the first of our baby badgers, which you'll meet, and she's called Sage. Badgers are really um, lovely creatures, as you can see. They're very, very playful. Um, they naturally live in great big social groups. And they're extremely funny, playful, interact an awful lot with each other. Quite boisterous, a lot of rough and tumble. Um, and everything she's doing at the moment is sort of, is completely natural behavior that she would do to other cubs and will continue to do so when she's an adult. Um, well, feeding time with the badger cubs is always the best time of the day. If you're giving them a bottle, it's just lovely and it's really rewarding to do it. But the rest of them, um, you make up this great big mash of different types of food items and they really just roll around in it, get completely sticky, covered in the food, and then you just have to clear all the mess up again. This little one is called Minty <clears throat> and he's still having a bottle because he's a bit babyish, aren't you? You want your bottle now? It's lunchtime. <laughs> oh. As you can see, she gets absolutely into everything. Really, really mischievous little madam. No! Oh. <laughs> what have you done? What are you dialing? Hello? Hello? Get off. Such a naughty badger. When um, you've got four badger cubs running around the kitchen, you don't know who's been fed. If you don't know who's been fed, if you go, you can actually hear the milk in their belly like a coconut. <laughs> When it comes down to it, that's the job. Everything goes back to the wild that can go back. Um, you know, so you kind of always have that in the back of your mind that you know they're going to go one day. And it is sad, but it's good for them, isn't it? It's good for you. <laughs> <laughs>